All right, Red Zone members, it's time for Week 9 NFL Picks, and we start on Thursday night with the red-hot Philadelphia Eagles, a 13-point favorite against the lowly 1-5 Houston Texans. Houston wide receiver Nico Collins is out with a groin injury. Guard Justin McCray went out with a concussion last week. He's listed as questionable, but should be considered out if he does have a concussion. That will strain an already thin offensive line. The defense takes a deeper hit with corner, at cornerback and linebacker with Desmond King, Christian Harris, and Neville Hewitt all listed as questionable. Even if they play, they won't be 100%. The Texans have only scored 11 total touchdowns on the year. That's tied with Pittsburgh and Denver for worst in the NFL. Only three of those have come on the ground rushing. That's last in the league. The Eagles are relatively healthy and are the hottest team in the league with a 7-0 record. Jalen Hurts has tossed 10 touchdowns in the year, only two interceptions. They're averaging 28 points per game. They're only giving up 16 compared to Houston, who's scoring 16 and giving up 22. Uh, against teams comparable to Houston, the Eagles have won by 16 and 22 points. Uh, it's hard to pick against Philadelphia in this matchup. I have the Eagles covering the 13. Next game, Chargers are a three-point favorite against the Falcons. Both teams are relatively healthy. Justin Herbert has already thrown for over 2,000 yards with 12 touchdowns. The Falcons are scoring and giving up 25 points per game. Uh, so basically giving up the same amount they're scoring. The Chargers are actually underwater, giving up 27 points per game while only scoring 23. Uh, that's a big red flag. Add to it that the West Coast team is having to travel to the East Coast. They're playing an early kick, which is a 9 a.m. equivalent West Coast time kickoff. Uh, I think that gives the Falcons a big advantage. I think Atlanta takes the game outright, so I, I have to take the Falcons. Um, Minnesota Vikings, they travel to D.C. They're a three-and-a-half point favorite against the Commanders. Uh, the Vikings are 6-1, and one, led by the trifecta of Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, and Justin Jefferson. All three are healthy, but the Vikings are um, running lean at the wide receiver position. Washington lost Carson Wentz for the season after losing um, center Chase Rowler and guard Wes Schwartzer earlier, uh, Schwartzer earlier in October. They're thin at the linebacker, and Chase Young is now listed as out. Don't expect him to play, but if he does, he won't be 100%. Washington only scoring 17 points per game while giving up 21. Hard to see the commanders sticking with the Vikings in this one. Um, I got to take Minnesota. The 6-1 Bills, they head to New Jersey to battle the 5-3 Jets in an AFC East showdown. Bills are a 13-point favorite. Buffalo was 11.5-point favorite last week at home against the Packers and failed to cover that spread. Frankly, the Jets are a better team than the Packers and catch the Bills at home this week. Buffalo lost offensive tackle Spencer Brown to injury and are already without tackle Tommy Doyle. The defense is um, riddled with injuries with guys who either won't play or definitely won't be 100%. The Jets have lost five offensive linemen to injuries since the start of camp, um, but have managed to win four, four straight until last week's loss to New England. The Jets are an anomaly. Uh, there's just no way they should be winning based on their performance, but they're finding ways to win. Unfortunately, this week, they're going against the hottest quarterback in the game in Josh Allen. Um, I should be taking Buffalo to cover, but my gut is saying to take New York and that they find a way to cover. So I'm going to take the Jets to cover that 13. Finally, the 3-4 and four Rams head to Tampa to take on the 3-5 and five Bucks in what should be called the Disappointment Bowl at this point. Both teams underperforming this year. Rams are ac actually giving up more points than they're scoring on average. Um, Cam Akers and Cooper Cup are questionable, so they'll likely be ineffective if they do play. Uh, the Bucks have a lot of injuries. The Rams have lost three of their last five, while Tampa has dropped four of their last five, only mustering three points in a loss against Carolina. Tom Brady, he's the GOAT, but his focus is just not on football, and it's costing his team. His stats look great, but his absence during practice is leaving a huge leadership void in that team. The Bucks are somehow a three-point favorite. I don't see it. I think the Rams win outright. West Coast heading to East Coast, but it's a later kick, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I got the Rams. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the picks um, and being members of In the Red Zone. Uh, good luck. We'll see you next week. Take care.